So I'm in a way inverter. I'm not gonna be able to catch up. <laughs> Rapidly approaching maximum rage, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention for that exact reason. I just, I don't want to know at this point. Why is, oh, I must have burned one of the lamps out, the right hand lamp. I was gonna say, why is half my instrument panel lit and the other's not? So yeah, it seems the lamps on this take a while to come on and they also burn out really easily. Which is interesting. Still having rudder pedal issues, of course. Um, I think I'm gonna have to strip them down and reassemble them again. Which will be fun. Once I do that, if it gets them working properly, I might play some IL-2 with CJ. But I can only do the uh, yaks. Seven again. Never mind, he is also dead. If this thing's pilot had a G suit, it would be disgusting. It can just turn so tightly. So agile. But God, is the throttle response bad? Holy shit. Takes half a decade just to get up to full power from idle. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm very, very dead. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm trimmed slightly nose up, so we... Yep, we're good. We recovered. Somehow. Two reds behind me. Using markers in the MiG-15 just because there's no IFF whatsoever. And because people can use whatever airframes they want in here, I can't IFF by type. Um, so, markers are kind of obligatory in the older aircraft on Just Dogfight. Oh, we're going to count that as a maneuver kill if he goes in. Looks like he just saved himself there. So, before I started the stream, I nailed an eagle with a 37mm and caused a second one to uh, overshoot me into the ground. So we're on two F-15 kills right now. Oh, how did that miss? How did that miss? That won't. Cropped his tail right off. Another one somewhere. Yep, right there. F-15 behind me. You set curves on your rudders? Um, yes, but they don't really help because the pedals are physically screwed. So, like, whoops. The problem is that the sensor's not reading correctly and the left pedal is physically broken in half. Like, um, at the pivot where it connects. So, yeah. Like, it doesn't really matter if I set curves or anything. My pedals are always going to be scuffed. I need some new ones, but I can't afford them. When 
have to set a dono goal for some crosswinds or something. Just so I can have one less thing to complain about and blame my bad flying on. Oh, come on. Come on, more lead. Oh, <laughs> please. Bit of a stall. Still haven't quite got used to the lead you need with the uh, MiG-15's guns. See how agile it is. It's easily keeping up with the flanker. Easily. In turning. Oh, he tried to pull a cobra there. It's cute. Don't know how those missed. Looks like they phased through him. Bit of a stall there. Yeah, like, the sensor on these was already a bit hinky when I got... These are the TFRPs, so they're, like, really cheap ones. Well, I say really cheap, they're still, like, 200-something bucks. But, um, the sensor on them was already really hinky when I got them, and it just got worse and worse over time. What I think it is, is the way they're designed, it's really easy for dust and crap to fall in, like, under the pivot and get into the sensor directly. I think that's what's happening. Because that's the only way I can really reconcile the fact that I've somehow fixed them by totally stripping them down to parts and then rebuilding them. It's the only way that makes sense. He should be dead there if I had any ammo. So the, the sense of problems are why I'm always bitching and moaning about how I can't turn left. And then um, the fact that the left pedal's actually broken off its pivot is the reason I don't have any left toe brakes. The whole thing is a big mess. And really, at this point, there's nothing to do but replace them. Oh, go away. Coward. I'm guessing that was the F-15. Your average F-15 pilot can only successfully kill something if he shoots it while it's landing, after all. Oh, Jesus, a bit bouncy. This thing really likes to float, I've noticed. Really likes to float. Mind you, I did land about 50 to 100 k's an hour too quick. Hey, Saber. What, well, those little things? Those are the, um, undercarriage indicators. So that's something that um, the Soviets stuck with up until the MiG-19, I believe, and then they ditched it. The Spitfire has the same system. So the Spitfire would have uh, little prongs that would come up through the wings if the undercarriage was down, and then there's a pair of small, um, like, sort of semicircular protrusions that pop up on the rear of the, on the wing, on the uh, trailing edge to show the flaps are down. Especially because on the Spitfire they're split flaps, so you can't actually see them from the cockpit. So that would come up to show you they were down, and there was no uh, in cockpit indicator other than the flat position switch. So this has one stick for the nose wheel there, and then one for each of the main wheels. Um, there's no flaps indicator except... Does this have a lamp on it? No, it doesn't. So this is before they added the flat position indicator.
Oh, Pixie's in the MiG-19 now. Nice. So I'm just waiting for Pom to get on. We'll do some dogfighting once he does. trouble telling if I'm leading too much or too little. I think I'm not giving it enough. This thing seems to need a hell of a lot. Fucking weasel. So you're just gonna try and outrun me now? Typical F fifteen. Looks like he's trying to land, maybe. Like he's weaving back and forth to dump speed. Oh yeah, he is. You know what? We aren't gonna have mercy this time. We may not need to shoot him from that landing, Jesus. <laughs> yep, he just saved me some bullets. Best bet for engaging someone in the MiG-15 on this server, um, when they're all flying, like, force gens, is to wait until they're distracted by someone else. I know I bitch when people do that to me, but that's because it's, like, force gens doing it to me. But with the MiG-15, if you don't do that, if you engage them on equal terms, they just run away. That's the problem. We'll try our luck with this guy, though. It's probably the same one. Oh, bit of a hiccup there. Thank you for giving me your six. See, now he's just going to climb off in burner. Oh, he might actually fight us. Yep, he might do it. Alright, my son. Let's go. There's the other one. I see what's happening here. He's trying to draw me off for this guy. Now he'll turn back on me. Oh god, there's a mirage in the mix. No. I don't know why he didn't take a shot there, he had one. Seems we may be outnumbered. Oh, pilot's fine. It's a mirage. Jump in, let's go. Hello. Saber the thing's flight model? He probably could. As we know, it is a yeah. UFO. 
Is it MiG-15 or MiG-19? She needs a MiG-19. That's MiG-15. That's fine, the 15. Pixie was in the 19, though. I really like the 15. I wish the Korean server was alive. Uh. Okay. Anyway. I thought the game wasn't going to run for me. It is hot as hell outside. It feels like middle of spring. And it's, it's fucking February. It's actually cool I'm down sweating. in here. My house is burning up like crazy. I don't even know how the hell I retain this much thermal energy. Oh, um, my place, um, for the last couple weeks, like the front hallway, if you touch the walls, you just about burn yourself. But today it's, it's nice and cool. Right. So maybe I'll actually get some sleep tonight. That would be nice. It's 6 a.m. in the Moscow on a Tuesday. It's like 7. It's exciting to see the mosquito in that video. Must be nearly done. Gonna go to bed. Alright, Max, catch you later, man. Try not to have an aneurysm, my dude. I cannot dogfight without the right kind of music. I think you've noticed while watching yeah. that if the music stops, I get really... Oh, Sabre, when I was in basic training, um, so, like, the clearance drill for the F-88 to show that the weapon's unloaded and clear, um, especially when you're a range shoot, is, you know, you put it on safe, take off the mag, cock it back, Pull off the barrel and then you hold the like the main assembly of the rifle over your shoulder like this so they can see in through the ejection port and you hold the barrel over yeah. your shoulder so that the chamber's pointing up and they just walk along the the um the road behind you and inspect know, over so everyone's shoulder and one of the guys got a bit too enthusiastic and put the barrel against his neck after a shoot and this was also on like a 45 degree Celsius day. Um, so you had the, the, like the, the guns were hot just from sitting in the sun all day. Like, and then we had the shoot on top of that. He had this beautiful big burn scar all the way down his neck from it. Uh, it was amazing. And he was from Tasmania too. So whenever anyone asked where he got the, uh, the burn from, we just told them that's where they removed the second hand. No, it's someone else took his slot. I'll have to go second slot. Somebody took the first one. Also, holy shit, there's a one verse one helicopter area. What? <laughs> I never noticed that before. So that's, that's a feature of the F-88 that I liked, which the F-90 doesn't have. Um, the ability to just quick detach the barrel was actually really useful. Like, we didn't use the heavy barrel modification at all. Um, we had the Minimai for an LSW. But if you had some kind of really bad obstruction, you could just do your immediate action drill, but take the barrel off and shake the whole thing out and everything would fall out of it. Or like if there was a round really, like a casing really fucking jammed in there, just pop the barrel and, you know, either hammer it out from the front or just pull it out from behind. It made it so much simpler. It was really quick to clear any right, kind of malfunction. Nice stream. And it was a really accurate rifle, too. I really, really wish it made time to buy that advanced tack you like. Can't even get the normal one to work half the time. It seems really uh, picky about what it records or which track files it opens. I mean, for things like the dogfight, you know. <laughs> Dueling gazelles at 50 kilometers. <laughs> yeah. Those ASATs, my dude. Those ASATs. Um, actually... Wait, so someone's in the second slot? Uh, someone's first in the slot. first, go second. Give me one second, though, to see if I can sort out my runner. I, I, I gotta set my shit up in So it seems every time I play DCS lately, I've had to unplug and replug the pedals. And yeah, 
That's why, because I killed the F-15, well, two F-15s, technically. Alright, tell me when. Why, is there a yak that's chewing the heli area? I don't know. Confirm. A mystery. And... Fuck, where's that song? Hey, there we go. Alright, I'll 16. And oh god, oh god, uh, oh god, hang on. What happened? Pedals. Yeah. Yeah, give me a minute to try and set this up. Oh, it's probably because I haven't trimmed it. It's going to say something feels wrong. I'll just go around. What on earth is my plane doing? Chaff player. Feels weird. Again, probably haven't trimmed it properly. Oh no, I think I know what it is. Hang on. Yeah, it's reading my stick position wrong. Really wrong. So my throttle's being read correctly. My rudder is close enough, but my stick now is the problem. Bear with me, guys. Such a pain in the backside having to do this all the damn time. Alright, you fix it yet? Not yet. Reading my stick position, totally, totally wrong. The final logic doesn't really wrap around where the guns, go, you know. Aim. I'm just gonna quickly test fly this again. Yeah, I don't know how I survived that. Oh, whoops. Hold on. 
Uh, that's Briefing, fine. Oh my fucking rudder! Jesus Christ! It's still being a problem, it's not as bad at least. What? What? Oh, there he is. I still can't get used to this left off. This is a good turn, but I like this. We're winning. Just a case of if we get him before we run out of fuel and not getting greedy. Kilograms. Shit. Yeah, I think he's gonna get me on fuel here. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? This seesawing in every direction except where I need it to go. Which is one of the reasons the 29 is so difficult for me to dogfight in. That instability is very useful at times, but at other times it works really well against you. It's 
especially in the 29. The 21, it's a little easier to work with. Flame out. Oh no. I'm almost out of fuel myself. Can't let you land. I like that. That did nothing. You still should be able to save it. No. Or too much sync rate. Almost. Yeah, the, the MiG-21 is so fun on that server. I love it. Respawning. Uh -huh. To half hour test stream, can't even watch a VOD for some reason. Have you got VOD saving turned on? I mean, because uh, like, it's not on by default. I don't know where the hell you're at, but. Ooh. Oh, that was a parish. Yeah, I see. Oh, I see it there. I really need to set up a uh, hotkey volume control on the music bot for when this song comes on. I'm too slow, I'm getting too greedy.
nearly out of fuel again. like that. She really did not like that. Dampers out. didn't have the roll I needed. I'm gonna flame out here in a sec. See, without the damper I can get onto him more easily, but then once I'm behind him I can't shoot accurately because it just flops all over the place. Nice. Good reversal. Dead. Um, when you I, hit I did me, the mountain thing again. when you hit me, you um, knocked out my damper, so this thing is very difficult to control right now. Oh, uh, well, um, I'm technically not dead. I'm on the ground with no wings, and my plane has like, uh, it's basically a low right now. Oh, I can only spectate teammates. Alright, um, we'll spawn back in. This is definitely a... Alright, here we go. She's difficult to fly, but... Like, I'm getting there, I'm better than I was. And the fact that I was ringing... Uh, or... Ringing? Winning? Jesus, English, please. Um, the fact I was winning... Circles against him was... Something, because normally I can't do that no matter what I'm in. He is. Are you back in yet? I can't hear ya. I'm assuming we... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we did. I see, I see. me there, I think. Just caught the wingtip. No warnings, everything's still working.
too. You stab a control? Uh, oh, no. it was on fire, so. Just put him back in. Alright, I'm gonna try the 18. He's much harder to fight in the 18, because he knows the plane better. And as well as that, it uh, it does high alpha much better than this thing. Well, it controls itself at high alpha better than this thing. This thing can do it, it just isn't controllable. It's right there. How's things haven't dropped by in a few days? They've been alright. Feedback on this just gets so much more correct than 16. I just feel like I'm speaking a foreign language. Let's track them for a minute then. Nose inside for a shot. Ah. Nice shot. I will not beat him in the Hornet in the twenty nine. Uh, no, for the next 29 for me. Yes, yeah. versus A, this is where you will dominate, I think. Like the Hornet, I cannot beat with this. Yeah, he was in the 18. The hell is that? Don't make me start using the lock channels. Never mind my divergence, I'm trying to edit. Ah, shit. And we passed it.
like he's actually holding his speed better than I am. Gotta resist the temptation to pull. I cannot get greedy in this plane. Oh, fuck is my plane doing right now? Uh, the controls tracker on this is hidden behind my face cam. For some reason on the FC3 modules it's on the right hand side, not the left. I don't think there's a way to change that. Dancing. Um, after this fight I might just temporarily disable the face cam so you guys can see it. I believe I would do better in this aircraft if I had Turkmen Make Turkmen Bashi proud. That I just wobbly boy. Did you turn the damper off or something? I don't think I did. Check and see if there's a lit orange warning lamp on the right side. I had a button. I did. I don't know. I remember everything I have bound here. I'm sure, I don't have that, but would explain. I know it triggers this. The autopilot disconnect? No, that's... What? Why would that even be on? 
uh, one of the um, autopilot buttons that just turns it off in the other aircraft will actually turn everything off in this, including the damage system. Uh, as far as I know, after a certain speed, I hit the, uh, the limit where the G scheduler will let off on the rudder input, but doesn't completely let the roll. And when it does, I can actually get the aircraft to do that thing. That's what, at least what I'm thinking. It makes sense okay. as to what, what was happening when I was trying to do the input. Yeah, I guess it just it sh it just shrugs itself over. Keys itself over is the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna run out of fuel before you do that. Eight hundred kilos. He's going to take a shot there. I would have. Oh, there he did. Ah, that's the final right. I'm out of fuel. I'm on oh, control. Oh, okay. Ish. Final and to land it uh, I mean, I could so. save it, but then I'd have to move it all around again. I don't like yeah, messing I with my uh, arrangement. Like, I right. have to unlock all and the settings because I locked the scene so I didn't accidentally move anything, then I'd have to move it, then I'd have to... Too much bother. Can't be bothered. Cannot be asked. Um, I don't know if the weight difference is simulated in DCS at all, to be honest. It depends if the encyclopedia entries are accurate, because according to the encyclopedia, they weigh the same, which is wrong. The S should definitely be heavier. too slow. I screwed that up. I made too much rough.
Uh, I lost. Oh, I found it. Oh, good hit. Pilot snipe, maybe? And maybe. I've lost a damper. And maybe a control surface. Just a damper, I think. Oh, and an engine, I think. Step engine dead. Out of field. This interested lady is yelling at me. Man down. And good bump. Alright, now we'll, uh. Yes, sir. Dave's only gonna want to get some practice later. I think is what he was trying to say earlier. Okay. If Dave. Do I see a triangle? I think I see a triangle. I'm dead. Ooh, okay. Not sure how that didn't really screw me up. Maybe it did. Hey, dude, you're missing a boat stop. Ah, you hit the radar. No, you hit the INS. That's what. And the boat stop. Let's see. It's still working. All the rest of it's working.
Good kill. I'm gonna try out the uh, 27. Let's see the difference. It's a pretty big difference. There we go. F-16 gets its radar gun sight, are you gonna try it? Yeah, probably, but I'll suck with it. Like, I do fly the 16, I'm just trash at it. The main reason I don't dogfight with it isn't because of the radar gun sight not being there, it's because I'm yeah, just terrible problem. at flying it. Corner speed for this is fairly significantly lower than the MiG 29s, so it might be a little more forgiving of my uh, stick pulling ways. basically fall out of the sky and accelerate forward. It's kind of weird. Long slot. Really uh, like the S16s okay. don't fight very minimalistic. Uh, from what I've seen of BMS, it's still like got a lot of clutter on it. Like when I say I'm minimalistic when it comes to hard preferences, I mean fucking minimalistic. That's why I like these ones so much. Although these even have more information on them than the uh, real aircraft do, to an extent. Grab a quick drink after this one. I like how it's not showing audio. There's he got me off. Wait, no, F5, sorry. Stab as a speed break and I slowed down too quickly. The fly by wire makes this so much easier to fly than the twenty nine, like Basically, the only concern is just making sure you don't get too slow, whereas the 29, Ooh, you've got a lot of shit to worry about. You've got to juggle your controls. Uh, that's the plane's attacked. Actually, all the planes attack. Uh, snipe the pilot. And then... I'm ready when you are. We're respawning. Can't 
pick him up. I said I was gonna get a drink, didn't I? Well done, me. I'm not using the ACS override at all here, by the way. Um, I am occasionally hitting the stick limiter override, but I have not touched the ACS. If I did touch the ACS, I would probably grip my wings, or sad turtle, because it's very difficult to kind of fiddle around with it in a dogfight. Some people are very good at it, I'm not one of those people. Okay, yeah, this like sticks. It should be shredded by now, it's so small. See, this is so much more tolerant of low speeds in the 29 because of the flyby wire. Much more stable. I'm not having to fight the aircraft to get it to roll. I'm just using the stick to put in roll inputs. Whereas in the 29 at this speed, you need the rudder. The stick has no effect in the roll channel. I got good job. Good shot All too. Right. I'll be back in like a minute. I can't hear. Slap. Wait, sorry, walk. I'm gonna just grab a drink, I'll be back in a minute, yeah. Alright. I feel like they don't anticipate as much in these parts of the fire, so like I have trouble um, following him because of the way the hub tree works and the big sunshine over it. I just want to be the I just realized you guys wouldn't have heard any of what I just said over the fucking noise. Um, but yeah, like, I have trouble keeping eyes on him at times because of the way the HUD's set up. So, yeah, I'm probably not anticipating as much.
Apparently there's a thumb switch for the flaps, but I don't know how to use them. What is my... I'm already spawned in, so let me just get that. I don't know what my uh, pickle was doing there. Alright, there we go, I'm in. Tally. Yeah, like, I'm nowhere near as fluid in the uh, Su-27, or especially the MiG-29 as I am in the Mirage, because I'm just not used to flying them in that way. Shitting me. I've lost him. There he is. Oh shit, that was nicely done. Does he still see me though? That's a big question. Yep, he still sees me.
couple tactical stalls there to put me back behind him. But he's hit something, and we're both very slow and very low, which is not a good place for me to be against an F5. No idea what my fuel state is, other than probably not good. There. Nice shot. Was that a pilot snore? Yeah, it's like, it just. You got like a great square almost. I wish I could fucking find the thumb switch for the flaps, is called. Man, I can physically click on it. Don't mean anything to me right now. Supposed to be able to like selectively use it for sure. Shot mustard pistol. Alright, turning in now. I am left of my respective contrail. I totally lost you there. Never mind, Saint. Helps, hey. Anemic hair dryer. That possibly just saved him there. Certainly cost me a lot of speed and altitude.
there he is. Oh shit, I've been reading the mock number completely wrong this entire time. I wish they hadn't messed up the traces on this, it makes it so hard to figure out where you need to lead them. he's going to get me, he's going to force an overshoot and then I'm either going to stall out or he's going to end up behind me and I won't have the speed to get away. a hell of a lot of speed there. Probably getting low on ammo too. There we go. I had something there for a moment. Ah, I got one of the uh, slap thing. And I think he took out the engine. Jesus. Oh, God. That's China's how you 19. kill an F5. I want to see how this thing does against 19. You're still here. Bear in mind that I'm very bad at the 19. It's not like I'm much better in the F5. I have yet to go against the 19. That wasn't a meme run. Oh, do I not have... Oh, I don't have missiles in the... Uh... 
one verse one area apparently. Interesting. Master, I think you're uh, attributing a bit too much SA to me there. I struggle to fly the plane and do anything else at the same time, so I can't, in I, like, I can kind of anticipate where he's going to roll, but then often I'll lose him behind the, um, the jail bars or something and I'll never see him again. That's part of the reason I do what I do in the MiG-21, is I'm terrified I'm going to lose sight of him, and if I lose sight of him, I will never get him back. He'll roll in behind me and kill me while I'm wondering where he is. We appear to have stalled because I am that terrible at this game. Also, I, I can't really nose in on you. This is. That's this right, is I just challenge. managed to stall myself because I am bad. God. Oh, God. Yep, lost it totally. I almost went the same way there from Just something about this plane, I cannot handle it to save my life. It's a very nice plane, I like it, but man am I bad at it. I think I might like to get to the MiG-19. It really... This. It looks just like a Soviet F-5. It really does not regain speed at all. Even with the burners on, you've got to totally unload the aircraft or it will never pick that speed back up. And then as soon as you do unload, it picks it up way too fast. It's kind of like if you took the MiG-29 and took away its directional instability and then cranked everything else up to 11, that's what this would be. Which is probably why I'm so bad at this plane. The MiG-21 I'm confident in. Like, absolutely confident in. The F-5 I'm pretty confident in. This... no. And I've stalled it again. Yeah, I just cannot fight in this thing. I can't. What rubber? I I lose. The -Files you oh, totally. Yeah, I died. Okay. You totally lose your rudder authority if you've got any kind of airspeed. Like. I don't know if it'll show on here. We'll open the controls input. Alright, I'm in again. See how far over my rudder control is? And now look at the exterior of the aircraft. This is with full deflection from the pedals.
and I'm so reliant on the rudder from how I normally fight, it's just weird not having any response from it. I don't even know where he's gone, I think we've merged. Have we? Yep, we have. I have got guns kills in this thing, but it's usually against somebody who's preoccupied or somebody that's start turning off the flap. that really doesn't know what they're doing in their own aircraft. Against somebody that has any idea what's up, I really struggle. I can't even see him now. So does that thing have any flares on it? What's up? Um, signal flares. No decoys. Wow. Uh, oh, I got it. So, uh, Badger and Rudy are doing Chopper Tuesday, so I'm gonna after after this do some of that. Gotcha. I don't even know where you are at the moment. I'm playing Chords, you. You're actually turning into Oh, I see. Me. I was gonna make that shot. I'm not sure what the corner speed on this thing is, but I have to. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably like mid to high 600 kilometers an hour kind of range, similar to the MiG 29. Someone did tell me once, but I can't remember. Things almost impossible to see with the silver uh, finish. Yeah, you're just as invisible. I pulled too hard, just dumped all my speed. Fucking constant tag over here. It's just frustrating because I really, really like this plane. Like this uh, is a really cool did. plane, very nicely made module, Are but the way it flies, you no, know, just I can't get my head around it. Nope. Well, it's gonna fly a hell of a lot worse now. Mm -hmm. Thought I might have been uh, missing so a bit of wings. I legit thought you were frozen. Whatever you've done, it very much doesn't like it. It's trying to roll left into the ground. Oh, I tapped it a couple of times. I don't, don't know what I hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. That, that's actually pretty impressive. I'm saying this assuming that Razium got everything right about it. Well, bear in mind that that's me. I was coupling into that role. That's because you fucked up my wing. <laughs> I'm waiting for the fucking gun doors reaction time. It's terrible. Um, did you just sad turtle your. Ah, oh, you might be able to pull it. No, I won't be able to. I don't have enough altitude. And with the left roll. If I'd had more altitude and the wing wasn't damaged, I could have saved that. That's, I, hey, it's really even, I'm telling you. That's... I don't know. I find the F5 really easy to fly, and I find that really difficult. I, I gotta get my hands on it one day, because I would, I would really... I think I would enjoy that almost as much as the F5. With or without the, the stability assist. Alright. I'm gonna head on over there and. You sure you don't want to do one them. more? One more? I'm already disconnected. Oh. So I think Pixie's there. You could ask Dave or Pixie.
There's also that Rex guy. Let's see if he'll fly with Makes me sad seeing these guys fighting in the World War II era, uh, area and I can't... Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? I wonder if I could. I'll just have to disconnect my left throttle. Um, let me see. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I'll come back. We got an hour. Shit. That's what I get. I was just wondering, like, right, if I can right. manually, yeah, if I can manually drag it back with the mouse, because if I run at the moment, it's going to blow the engine, because my throttle's no, we're good, we're good. full revs. Alright, um, I'm going to spawn back in slot 2 still. No one's in either a slot of the one. I'm in slot two. two. Mirage versus Mirage, fine. Oh, I'm not in a Mirage. Uh oh. Okay. Big 15? Oh shit, hold I guess we're in a Mirage. Let me get in F5 again. You don't have to pick, you don't have to pick no one. That's also a fun challenge. Yeah, Saber, I just can't stand trying to fight it. It's a nice plane. Don't tell me that, that hit really you. Me off. No. Okay, I think we must have hit each other then. I have no idea if we've merged or not. So. We have. Okay, cool. I really need to unbind the uh, gun sight mode switch in this because it's my push to talk key. I think you killed. Good job. No. You just exploded randomly. I, I, I could not find you at all. Have we exploded randomly? What the fuck? Some shit is flying over here in a fucking Su-27. Oh, okay. I'll go destroy him. Hold. Where is it? Oh, boy, I'll regret this shit. Oh, and there's the, uh... You get high speed in the MiG-15, she augurs, on, uh, augurs in. Fucking, uh, I'm not. Alright, that's. that's me. That's not him. 
get locked on me. I didn't despawn, but he ate a fucking uh, nine to the. Yeah, it's just us now. We're gonna respawn in the 15. And it's safe. Hey, he's still around here, so. on the bucket from 29. Alright, I don't even know where you're at in relation to me. I just lost sight of you, but we did merge. Okay. Shooting us right now. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I found them again. Are you gone traveling, Ross? No, I'm just respawning now. Catch you later, monster. Oh, he's out of missiles. Yeah, he ate an 8-9 to the face and, uh, perfectly yeah, okay for him. That's alright. my radar not picking anyone up. It looks like he's just gonna run himself into the ground. He's gonna repeat this over and over again. Trying to force an overshoot here.
Ah, uh, he's immune to damage. Yeah, he just ate gun rounds. He's not taking Yeah, this dude's sack. That's exactly what he's doing right now for us. Amazing. Yeah, that's uh... He can't gunfight for shit either, so there's... That's why he's just being complacent at this point. So yeah, he's a... Tom Turbo. If anyone happens to know the guy that runs Just Dogfight, Oh, may as well jump off the server then if he's gonna fuck around. What a piece of shit. Imagine hacking in DCS. Like, imagine that. And going on a guns, uh, or a one vs one area in Just Dogfight and fucking with people. I know I'm not. Of all the games, like, I can understand people that hack in, like, fucking Counter-Strike or whatever, but DCS? Go on, uh, right now. go on the other Just Dog Fight server. Something, something, ta-da. Wait, how's he doing it? Dunno. Dude's a straight sniper, maybe? I doubt it. Ah, uh, let's see if that works. Ah, oh, yeah, he's uh, impervious to damage, by the way. Of all farms, I just crashed into this. I guess we'll find out pretty quickly. It's also not trying to chase. Yeah, switch over to uh, the other server. Yeah, he also has endless myth. So that's why I did it. Uh, you wanna go to the other server or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm already there. Okay, good. I'll be right back while that looks. Yeah, see, I don't know, I don't, maybe the server doesn't enforce settings for, um, for aircraft destructibility and ammunition. It might not, I don't know. They might just rely on good faith, which is not a good plan at all. Might be something to test some other time is just disable or like set it to fucking baby handhold mode and then see if I can join Just Dogfight and if it lets me, uh, slot up. Because, yeah, if that's not a thing, then holy shit, that explains so much of what's been happening on different servers.
Yeah, exactly. Integrity check will usually trip off the randomest shit. It'll even trip off things that you haven't changed, just like there's one pixel that's corrupted on a default game texture. So, that's the only thing I can think of, is this, if, if the uh, server's not enforcing full realism settings. Because that would do that exact thing, like he, he would be able to set himself to invulnerable. All right, go. I wonder if we pissed that guy off before. No, just probably just some random that wanted to fuck with people. I was, I was just theorizing with chat. I think maybe the server doesn't enforce full realism, because normally integrity check would flip the fuck out if he'd done anything hinky to the. Oh no, I'm pretty zone. sure he just used cheat engine or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that would get around the IC, but I'm in by the way. Sporting it. We won't fly the warbirds just yet, so do that some other time. I've really got to replace this throttle, I just can't afford to do it at the moment. I think I've got like three or four F15 kills in this now, just over the past week or two. They get complacent, they think that nothing turns tighter than them. I don't even know where he is, we may have already merged. I see, I am merged. Oh, that's right, I got the fucking bags on. I don't know why it spawns you with them on. Yeah, the thing was that he's going for me and not you. Oh yeah, because I was on his team. Blah blah blah, stay on that turn. That thing doesn't even have an afterburner, does it? Oh. Well, it's not like mine's serving me any good. And that's what I was talking about when I said I have to follow them in rolls or I lose them. I have no clue where he just went. He dipped behind the um, armored glass and I can't see him. You're missing part of your tail, and that thing's still good. Lost him again. I keep losing sight of you. I don't feel bad, I lost that in. There he is. Oh, I found him. That thing just cloaks up when it turns towards you. 
I saw him clearly and then he just vanished. Fifty-eight minutes before I got the bail for helicopter. He's just leaving me behind now because I can't keep up. The really overblown reflections on this make it fucking difficult to see him as well. I really hate the static reflections that they baked in on the glass. It's way, way too much. Honestly, that and the tinnitus thing are the only complaints I've had with this module so far. It's really nicely done. that those two things need fixing. How are you pulling that hard with the home? Like, you actually have no tail. How's oh, that? wow. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Classic DCS damage okay, models. You're missing one part of the tail and a half of the other. No, the other half still. I'm out of fuel. Switch planes. Alright. Ooh, F5. 
Earth is up. Really a fascist symbol. Oh, there you are. Thanks for the follow, Pilot Sage. Hold on. Very much suboptimal. Very, very suboptimal. Imagine if this thing had actual engines. Yeah, it does look pretty wide. Thick.
It gets so slow so easily. Struggles to regain the speed. I'm definitely better with the MiG-21. I'm better at hitting, <coughs> excuse me, better at hitting things with this because the uh, gun sight's much better. But in terms of flying, 21 is probably, after the Mirage, the thing I'm best with. Because Magnitude 3 used to be, um, so Magnitude 3 was Leatherneck, and they made the MiG-21, and then partway through making the Vigan, they split into Heat Blur and Magnitude 3. So, the MiG-21 isn't the only thing they've made, they also made the Crystal Eagle after the split, but they are originally the same company that uh, Heat Blur was. places tonight. I don't know why. My eyes are just never where they need to be to see him. No, he probably damaged him with that burst. Yeah, they should be down. Unless... Are you shitting me? Why does it spawn in fucking manual? So apparently on this server the F5 spawns in with its flap set to manual, not automatic. Yeah. Um. Oh, I missed a chance. I don't know. I've been able to have it on auto. Off the bat, I'm usually 
like doing it. I'm out of fuel. Respawning. Alright, give me one moment. That is fucking strange. Back. That explains a lot about why I was having so much difficulty compared to normal. Uh, I tripped over my tracker. Oh, ah, I'm about that. Yep, yeah, I'm right off your nose. We're gonna merge pretty quick. Can't really see lower that cannon. Trust me, it's I tried. It's a pain in the fucking ass. The whole thing about the damn uh, ASQ one nine or one five nine is a bitch. Nope. Nope. 
Did a lag that. Whoa, huge lag spike. Uh, yeah, I'm here doing the hula dance. Yeah, you're teleporting around on my screen. I was going to die. I just warped out of existence. Uh, first we get hackers, then we get server crashes. Yeah, there goes the there server. I got Endless oh. circles, I know, right? That's why I prefer the MiG-21. Uh, you want to hop back in? Once it comes up. There. Oh, look, Turbo Tom left when we left. Go fucking dip. Mm. Is this the server you're on? Yeah, just on fight. Uh, I guess. I'm getting back at These guys are like, oh, there's a patch? There's no fucking patch. They're still asking about this. It's almost 9 a.m. in Moscow on a Tuesday. I do kind of want to fly something different. What kind of different? Nah. I think I'll try the hair. The Hario? Yeah, why not? This should be I ain't interesting. gonna stare a while, but... Go to everyone. I don't know. It's just loading. Oh god, it starts You're in off the wrong one. You're in area 2. Oh, I am? Fuck. Alright, let me pick another one. One. I see. Alright, here we go. Spawning him. I don't imagine this going well at all. Jesus. He's keen. Ah, oh, it's doing that tumbly wobbly thing again. I think I hate the most about this.
I'm about to kill myself. Boom. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the concept of the uh, vector unit to down. That's not really working too well. Back to the other one, I guess. I mean, I'm starting really fast, right? Yeah, same. I might just hop on the uh, other side from the guns area or something. The red lights by the gun site is, yeah, max are away. Um, they blink when you get into the danger zone, the yellow area on the indicator, and they turn solid red when you've stalled. The thing is, though, there's a massive um, safety margin on it. There's like a, a five degree safety margin on your max AOA, so I don't... Well, like, they're useful to know when I'm pulling enough, but um, the indicator I use is the gauge itself, and I look for about 32 to 33 units. Oops, I'm gonna connect through IP since uh, IP. I'm done with it dying repeatedly. Alright. No, well, hopefully next time we won't get interrupted. I think we should just get everyone together and go raid one of these Chinese servers and just uh dunk. <laughs> You'll get us all banned. Hell yeah. people are in there. Two on red. I think it's just Pixie on blue. Oh no, there's two on red, two on blue. Double check. No. Three on blue. Well, we're going red.
I'll catch you later, ass. I'm just gonna go buzz off or Alright man. So I'll uh, catch you around. Yeah. Alright man. Excuse me, RDI? What? How did you drop him? Did he did he? Uh yeah, he might have despawned, I think. And I just blacked myself out, point to the ground. I'm dead. Splat! I really, really hate that sudden onset G-Lock bullshit. Certain modules seem more effective than others, but it's just annoying in general. I got careless. Okay, I'm on his tail. Oh, never mind, he despawned. It's pixie. Seriously, my own teammates riding my tail. Brilliant. That's my teammate down there. I don't think DCS likes me very much this evening. the brakes too long. See, when I get frustrated, my ability to fly just immediately drops off a cliff. I just let him do that, basically. That was fucking stupid.
That is an enemy mirage. Yeah, that's going to be awesome when it comes out. Kind of would have preferred an MI-24V just so that the front seat would have something to do, other than fire the ATGMs, but... A hind's a hind. I'm glad we're getting one. Jesus, what am I even doing now? Why did I just turn that off? I think it might be after this one time to call it DCS for the night because holy fuck, once I start getting to the point where I don't know what I'm doing, it is not worth playing anymore. Play some Stalker or something I guess. Yeah, the Su-25 gun's gonna be way more effective against, like, armor and stuff, but... Like, there's just gonna be nothing for the gunner to do unless he's firing ATGMs. Like, absolutely nothing. I have indeed, say, but although, I've gotta say, unless I'm, like, actually working really hard outdoors or it's, like, unbearably hot, I don't drink water. I'll drink just about anything else, but not water. Like, the, the way... It, because it's tasteless, and it tends to absorb the flavour of whatever it's stored in, tap water tastes like shit. Most bottled water tastes like fucking plastic. Need a beer? I could use one too. Need to uh, resupply, I think. I've got none left in here. I don't know if you guys get. Oh, server's restarting anyway. I don't know if you guys get this, but like, I can be going fine in DCS one minute, and then just something happens, and I go to shit, and I just. Like, it feels like a different game all of a sudden. It's really weird and really frustrating. It's basically what's happening now. I guess because my flow got interrupted, so to speak, by the server going down so many times. Come here, you I want to kill before the server restarts. Oh, wow. <laughs> what was that aim? Jesus. Absolute potato.
I've only been playing DCS since like last October, but it's not even that, it's just random shit. Like the server going down repeatedly or that guy fucking with us on uh, on the one versus one area. Just gonna go land. Textile. There goes the server. Alright. Kill DCS and replace some Stalker, I think. Just for a little while. I was planning on doing a lot of DCS on this stream, but the magic is gone, so there's not much point. I might um might pick it back up later and do some Cold War server or something, I guess. The real question is, where the fuck is DCS? On the process list. There we go. Bear with me for a minute, guys. As nice of a song that is. Um, we don't want it going while Stalk is running. Kind of itching for some squad. Yeah, I should probably get back into squad, but I'm not really feeling it tonight. gun run by an A10 the other day in squad. Oof. I haven't played squad since I added the um, support, I don't think, the air support. I have been strafed in postscriptum, that's pretty unpleasant. I've had a fucking stuka drop a bomb on my head as well, but have not experienced it yet in squad. If you Cold War send me a message I can help populate a GCI, gotcha. We'll see. I had a shit time in there last time I played, mostly just because, partly, I'm um, partly the same thing, like I got tilted and I started flying really badly and it just fed back into it, but also partly because that fucking Vigan missed a fucking one wing. Like, if that hadn't happened, I probably would have been fine for the whole session, but that kind of just put me on tilt for the rest of it and it just got worse and worse the longer I played. That and the server started emptying out. I just really wish that server was populated round the clock like GS is. I really, really wish it was. Because then I wouldn't play anywhere else, I'd just play there. Maybe DDCS occasionally, but... Like, if Cold War was populated more often, I'd probably never need to go on GS again. Even though I wouldn't be able to fly the flanker or anything, I'd just use DACS for that. While this is loading, I'm going to grab myself another drink. So I'll be right back. Old Korean server used to pop off. Yeah, I've seen some of um, Hell Rain's videos in there, but... I never got a chance to play it myself, which sucks, because I would love to.
I really gotta sort my um control issues out so I can get back into IL2. Really need to. I'm itching to do World War II stuff. Now from memory I was going to check the claw anomaly then come back to the scar. So I'm gonna go down the road a bit and to the left. Oh, that's right, I'm really overweight, because I'm carrying a shitload of supplies. Мужик, ты оружие это спрячь? Probably nothing here. Oh, there is someone here. Bruh. Bruh, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> hmm. Might be a little far gone. He spent a bit too long stalking for artifacts in the Psy Anomaly up here. weapon to have ready just in case. Can't see shit through the uh, scope on the SVU at night so not much point. Enough. 
Side block is pretty much essential for dealing with controllers, um, especially in areas where there's not a lot of cover or in a confined space. So I try not to use it unless I really have to. To be fair, I could probably go up here without it. I do have a saber suit on. And nothing. Happy days. Well, back to Skadovsk we go. Empty handed. Did pick up stuff from a couple stashes at least, so I can sell some of that. May as well not use the uh, night vision at all with how bad it is, but. Okay, that was, uh, that was something. They're throwing grenades back now. Oh shit, there's one down there. I may have made a terrible mistake. Apparently they can see in the dark a hell of a lot better than I can. He's holding the grenade ready to throw it. <laughs> Quit for bandits. That's broken. Um, we will take the ammo though. Too overloaded to move. Because I'm carrying a shitload of food. So we will um, do all of that. All of that. Get rid of a bunch of those, get rid of that. There we go. Grenady boy was over here, I think. On this pier. 
on one of these piers, he might be on the next one over, or his body could have fallen off. Yeah, there he is. Jesus, he had an AS file as well, a good one. Who the fuck did these guys mug to get all this equipment? Alright, that's damaged, so we're going to take a scope off that. We're still slightly overweight. Um, if I get rid of a couple of cans of food. There we go. past 10 at night. So we've got plenty of time before we have any sort of natural life back again. Not sure who they are. Probably... Oh, Judy. Yeah, Judy. So they're neutral to me. Still getting little hitches now and then. Um, it seems to be just a stalker thing. It never seems to go away no matter what settings I run on and this is on my SSD as well so it shouldn't have any issues with load times or whatever it's just stalker things I guess the grenades since we don't need that many. I am actually nearly out of pistol ammo. I still haven't got around to adjusting the trader tables yet, so guns are still pretty worthless to sell. Which I'm not a fan of. So like I said, I'm going to drop the carry weight, so you can't lug as much crap around, but I'm going to make it so the guns are more valuable.
Заказ выполнен. Привет, брат. Внимание, анекдот. Доктор слушает сталкера, пришедшего на прием, и приговаривает. Хорошо, хорошо, хорошо. Доктор. О, oh, это USP матч. Найс. Хорошо, что не у меня. Класс. Я хочу посмотреть, как я могу получить APS от него. Because the uh, the Stetchkin is a very nice weapon. Oh, that's not what I wanted out. We'll go out and have a look at this thing. Probably not going to actually use it at the moment, but I just want to check it out. Bandits. Yes, they are. Well, good thing to test this out on, hey. Oh, it's quite nice. It is quite nice. I might actually use this. <laughs> uh, it's in bad condition, so we can't really sell it. Rate of fire is kind of low, like the trigger reset seems a bit long, but it's nice. It's got some power behind it. We'll swap back to the uh, Gashai thing for now. Привет, брат. How much money do I even have? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. I don't really want to be going back and forth between here and uh, Yanov. So what I might do is I might just kind of sleep through the day and then see if Nimble gets back. I think Nimble's orders take about a day. So we'll see. Because I really want to get that APS and then just head out to Jupiter and get all of the Pripyat stuff done. There we go, fire rate is what we want. Accuracy, fire rate, there we go, that should do nicely. I 
I'm gonna get a few supplies on me. Um, something to eat. And then we'll just sleep through till about four. You gotta be careful because it's very easy to oversleep in Stalker and then wake up dead, so to speak. Like, you you find that your character's basically starved to death or got dehydrated in his sleep. So we're going to reach the next morning. Nimble's still not back, which is interesting. Fuck it, we'll do it again. There we go. Hopefully this will be the Stachkin, otherwise we might need to do that again. Sure my frame rate's that tanking so on badly you. in here. Step oh it's a desert eagle. Okay, well no, привет. I guess now we got that. So we'll do the exact same thing again, because uh, I don't want to be running back and forth between here and Jupiter all the time. Knowing my luck, the APS is actually going to be classified as a, a uh, close range weapon, like an SMG, and it won't be under pistols. I would not be surprised, honestly. There we go. Where's the door? I've lost the door. There it is. Zaka! How did I know? <laughs> God damn it. Close range weapon. Привет, брат. This could take longer than I expected it to. Hopefully we won't starve if we just sleep for 24 hours. No, we're good. I wonder if he nerfed the um the sleep thirst and hunger rate. Because normally sleeping for more than a couple of hours at a time in Stalker is a really, really bad idea. Cutter a submachine gun, I think that might be the UMP. That is indeed the UMP. Hang on, actually. Yeah. No, привет. Leave this on as well, so I can navigate a bit easier. Forgive me for gaming the fuck out of this, I just I want to get it over and done with before I get distracted or forget. Automatic shotgun. If I find out he doesn't have the APS... And I've just been debated, I'm gonna be very upset. Because apparently, according to I think it was the wiki or the like the dev blog or something, apparently the APS is in game. I've just never seen one, which would suggest that it's one of Nimble's uniques. It's the same reason I never saw the UMP, right? I I figured maybe uh, people had a build of gunslinger that I didn't, but actually it's just a nimble weapon, which is weird. You'd think that 
You'd think that might be like a unique version, but that, that'd be more in the, uh, in the mod. Well, we've got a bunch of shit that we didn't want. Give me a second, I'm gonna just check this out. Before I sink any more time into this. Apparently the APS is supposed to be the second pistol you get from him, and yet he says he's out of pistols, unless you can only um, get so many in a short amount of time, maybe. That's disappointing. I wonder if you can spawn stuff through console, maybe. Привет, брат. Well, we'll head back to Jupiter now, since there's no point sticking around here. Здравствуй, Stalker. Oops. There's a way to spawn through console. Because it is apparently in the mod and it's completely finished. Anyway. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to get it. So I do want to use that thing. The Stetchkin's a really neat weapon. It's kind of obscure. It's um, it looks very much like a, a Makarov, but it's a bit bigger, and it's basically a machine pistol. Um, it's very popular with the Spetsnaz. And back when I used to play SWATS mod for this, it was one of my favorite um, sidearms to carry. I'm pretty sure I use it quite a lot in Call of Chernobyl as well, from memory. Um. Put the USB match in there for now. Just hmm. trying to think if I'm going to head to shipyards. I probably don't want to be relying entirely on that. I might take the um, AK with me. In the overweight though. Actually no, since the army gives you ammo for um, the SVU, I might as well take it. We'll leave the AK here. They just don't give you much ammo for it. Easiest game ever? Um, depends what mod you're playing, I guess. The um, mutants in Gunslinger mod are a little bit bullet spongy, so it's not as easy as it might otherwise be, just because of that. Like, it's not so much a difficult to, to fight or anything, it's just that they absorb a lot of hits.
think as well, um, one of the other adjustments I might make is I might see if I can figure out how to make the head bob vertical only instead of this side to side shit because it makes me kind of seasick honestly. It's not how head bob works, it's really weird like I don't know how people fuck that up. Like if you're a human being and you can walk you know what head bob is like so I don't know why they've got it going all over the place and doing figure eights and stuff like no. No it doesn't do that. Okay, I'm still gonna get that meat chunk for Gary. Um, clean up that stash and then maybe check some of the uh, anomalies around here. See if we can find a meat chunk. That does not sound good. Oh! That's why that didn't sound good! Oh Jesus, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Ugh. Oh. I knew something didn't sound right about that. I knew it wasn't just dogs or whatever, but... Jesus. A chimera and rats at the same time. Not my lucky day, apparently. Might need to be a little more careful this time. Get rid of the illumination on the radical since it's broad daylight, we don't need it. Oh shit. It's down here now, for fuck's sake. No, I didn't kill it. Jesus, what are they made of? This is what I mean about bullet sponges.
Oh shit. I think the zone hates me today. Hey, go on your board. Ah, uh, spicy Maybe? Oh yeah. Shit. Bandits. Clear this checkpoint out while I'm up here. The bandits usually occupy this. I'd say they are today from all that gunfire. Yep, there they are. Got him. That would have been a bit awkward. I think most of the guys that came down the hill there were from this checkpoint, so it should be mostly clear now. You notice the um the aim sway? That is not a default gunslinger thing, that's something I added. I might tone it down a bit, it's a little stronger than I planned. That was a mistake. Should have used the rifle. Nope. been busy. It's probably worth a decent amount. Well, actually no. No, it's not. Again, because I haven't modified the trader tables yet, guns are relatively worthless to sell, but expensive to buy, which is kind of... Hmm, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it was done for game balance to stop people from just doing the standard stalker thing of, like, dragging back a hundred kilos worth of guns and immediately becoming a millionaire, but... It just doesn't quite sit right with me. I think a better way of doing things is what I'm planning to do, which is lower the carry weight and then increase the value of guns. Um, it just seems like a more reasonable solution. Are the bandits in residence down there? Doesn't look like it. Ah, 
it's not really that. So yeah, the um the aim sway is a bit stronger than I intended. Turn it down a bit, I think. Main reason I added that is just because with default, um, even with Gunslinger and the way better weapons, just without any kind of interference to your aim or any sort of aim disturbance, it makes it just ridiculously easy to pick people off from across the map. So I put that in there to add some challenge back into long range shooting. Speaking of which, God snorps are hard to hit. There we go. Almost two of them. So, basically at the moment I'm trying to get a meat chunk. It's the dumbest stumbling block ever. I had one, I sold it without thinking, and now I've got to find a new one for Gary. But, of course, because of the fact that I'm looking for one, it's the only thing I can't find. Interesting, it's hiding in a bush. I'm going to check out that Electro Anomaly, but um, I don't think I'm going to find one today. I might need to wait a couple days. It's weird though, because... See, I was under the impression that the um, Anomalies replenished with blowouts, but it might be on a separate timer, because I've got blowouts going on every one to three days at the moment, I think. And yet they've been empty for like an in-game week, so they haven't replenished. just knocked him down. Facts. So I think I missed a spot. Yeah, I did. When I um picked this stash, I missed a spot. 
Gunsling is missing a couple things at the moment, um, one of which being the like area of effect pickup that you can have in Call of Chernobyl and a bunch of other mods. Um, it also doesn't have Russian voiceovers at the moment, it's using the like whatever localization your game's in, so if you have the game localized to Russian, you'll get Russian voices. If you have it localized to English, you'll get the English voice acting. So what I did was I went on ModDB and I found an upload of the original um, Russian voice acting and just applied that as a mod. Um, so I'm not running pure Gunslinger at the moment. I've got Gunslinger with at, uh, at, at, no, 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 words Atmosphere 3, Absolute Nature 4. Um, you've got to merge them in a specific way to get them to work, otherwise it crashes the game. So I'm running those two. Um, the Russian voices and then a couple of small tweaks I made myself. But it is mostly Gunslinger that you're seeing. From what I heard, there was already someone that managed to um, merge this with... What was it? Call of Chernobyl, I think. An Anomaly. But it was done in a kind of janky fashion and also apparently without the original creator's permission, so there's a whole shitload of drama over that, naturally. Wouldn't be a modding community without somebody getting angry and somebody else, you know, using somebody's stuff without asking them. So I think now we'll go up and we'll, um, do the mission up here. And then we'll probably end up having to give the PDA to Freedom, I think. Because I want to get Strider and his guys in with Freedom, but Freedom are straight up neutral to me at the moment. I haven't helped either of the two major factions. Um, I generally tend to stay neutral in terms of that fight, so... We'll probably need to give Freedom a little help there. So that they all take on Strider and his guys. There's a stash down under that pier, but I'm not too worried about it. We'll come back for that another time. There's nothing super valuable down there. Don't need to take my bolts out since I've got the uh, spot off. See if any of these are sellable. Oh, they are. All are, I think. Yep. There we go. I 
thought I had some Hercules on me, but apparently not. So we're gonna run back and sell these. Drop that PDA off. And then the only thing left to do, wouldn't you know it, is get Gary's goddamn meat chunk. We're getting to the point where I might I might have to uh, go back and buy one off Beard. If he even has them in stock. Oh, no. Where the fuck did you all come from? They're gonna kill me. Jesus Christ. Like I said, I think the zone hates me today. See what I mean? That's a lot of good weapons, and they're in perfect condition. Two AN-94s, two AK-74s, and two AKS-74s. And even with the detectors and the ammo thrown in, it's not even worth 10,000 rubles. To buy... Actually, the weapons are really cheap to buy as well, so there you go. I guess I just need to raise weapon prices across the board. Especially for the rifles. Покедова. Вон старший стоит. Так ты к нему общем, выкладывай. За... What? What is A Life doing today? Ну чё стоите? Присаживайтесь, пообщаемся. I've obviously offended the zone because I've never had that happen to me before. Тебе лучше с бродягой поговорить. Мы уважаем свободу своих бойцов и других сталкеров. Считаем, что зона открыта для всех, и она величайший дар человечеству. Шанс значительно продвинуться вперед в развитии. Это необходимо. Четко осознать каждому. Кому мы будем подчиняться? Жесткой иерархии у нас нет. На задание идем только с тем, кого уважаем. Но во время операции команды старшего выполняем беспрекословно. Ну что, еще вопросы есть? Ну что, добро пожаловать в свободу. Неплохо. Отлично. То, что надо. Что скажешь, Привет. брат? Ну рассказывай, я весь внимание. I've got to say, I'm really impressed by just how much of a difference Absolute Nature makes to how this game looks. Like, it looks absolutely stunning with it, and without it, it looks really dated. Like, it really shows its age. Those sound like bandits. In fact, I'm reasonably sure those are bandits.
freedom. Oh, okay. There were bandits, and then freedom killed them. Those are bandits. Didn't get them in time to save the stalkers, sadly. Следовать его примеру. Что там было, не знает никто. Уж ты там точно спишь. Плохо! He still doesn't sell any of the ammo I actually need, which is annoying, but that'll be a job for when I go to edit trader tables, I think. It's pretty much the only way I'm going to remedy that. that off. It's got nothing for me.
Ну, рассказывай, я весь внимание. I've got to go back to uh, speak to Noah anyway, but we don't need to do that just yet. I think what I might actually do though is I might call it here for the stream. Um, I might be back on later, I might do some Cold War or something on DCS. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and save this and get myself some dinner. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream. Um, I was hoping to get some more dogfighting in, but between people um, interrupting us and the server crashing constantly, it didn't happen. Um, maybe next time, but definitely if Cold War fills up later, um, I'll try and get on there and I'll probably stream that. I may also be streaming some other stuff. Um, if not later this evening, then probably at some point through the day tomorrow. I'm just going to let the auto host do its thing, I think. And actually, no, no, Rudy will probably be streaming right now, so I'll um, send you guys over to Rudy, I think. Once again, imagine actually being prepared for a raid. That should be just about ready to go through, I think. And he's doing some chopper stuff, I think. The Kiwis usually fly choppers on a Tuesday evening. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.